the biggest skate park in San Diego County and one of the biggest in California. That's how cool this is going to be. And of course, it's going to be, it's going to be one of the nicest and, and most challenging. It's going to have a couple of flow runs, ramps, railings, uh, a competition pro bowl, and of course, a full pipe. And as you can see by the designs and the, and the, uh, the schematics that have been out here, this is going to be one of the best skate parks in, in California. It's also going to be great for spectators as well. It's going to have an amphitheater seating and a unique pedestrian bridge that are going to let people and families and you know, watch all of the action as it unfolds uh, in place. Uh, something like this doesn't happen without everybody pulling together. Our, our city team and our park and rec folks and our design folks and you know, of course most importantly the, uh, the community here. And you know, The bulk of the funding came from a 3.75 million dollar grant that we received uh, in efforts uh, for what we were doing in the city's efforts to build more affordable housing and opportunities for family and youth. In addition, of course, $40,000 was generously donated by the Tony Hawk Foundation to help put some of the finishing touches on the park. You know, this is, uh, this is something that, that all of us, I think, feel very proud of, and it really it gets closer to what I talked about in my State of the City speech, that my pledge that we are going to have groundbreakings in neighborhoods like this across the city. We are going to upgrade 50 parks in the next five years, and that is something I think all of us are going to be very, very proud of. And in fact, this is just one of two skate parks that we are see starting construction on this summer. Park De La Cruz project in City Heights includes the skate park and so much more. And it's going to be an existing expansion of the former Copley YMCA to a new recreation center. And like the one we're doing here today, the Park De La Cruz skate park is scheduled for completion next year. And both of these parks resulted because the community spoke up and we listened. And once again, I want to thank all of our neighbors, all of our community members who are here today. I like the fact that we have kids with a skateboard in hand. You know, they're ready to go. Uh, just, just give us a little bit of time, guys. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. I like that. Uh, and <laughs> he's ready to skate tomorrow. All right, so we're going to have to work real quick. But I want to thank particularly all of our city staff uh, and all of our team. This is something that in the design and the development of this, it was Let's make sure that we have a skate park that is going to stand the test of time and one that we're going to be proud of and that people are going to use. So uh, I'm proud to introduce now a, really a driving force to get this skate park happening, a guy who's been a tireless champion for his, uh, his council district and said from the very beginning, we have the opportunity to create something very, very special here in Linda Vista, Council Member Scott Sherman. Scott, thank you, my friend. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, I just have to echo his sentiments today as a, a, a in my opinion, the, the best day I've had so far since I joined council. <laughs> when I first started office here about three and a half years ago, we had some people come to my office, brought a bunch of signatures from kids in the neighborhood. 1,800 signatures said they wanted a skate park here. Very tough to find money to build a skate park at City Hall right now. But with staff and not taking the first no they came across, but actually going that extra distance to think creatively, to think outside the box, they came up with a way and found the money and, and got the grant done to get this park put in place. It's had all kinds of input from the community. We've uh, reached out to even all the way down to the kids who skate in the neighborhood in, in places they're quite frankly not supposed to be skating now. And we asked them, what about the neighborhood do they like? And they told us some of these different areas. So we have stairs in here that are replicating the stairs that are over at the library that the kids like to skate on now. <laughs> Just so long they have some familiarity and they have input into the process of what's going on. It's been a, a, a very long journey. Well, in government time, it's a blink of an eye. It's been about three years. But for us, it seems like forever. It really does. And, and we've been moving along this way and it just would not have happened without the community, without the mayor's office and the way that he advocated for it. I mean, I was looking at a memo that I put forth uh, with Mayor Faulkner, well, he was Council Member Faulkner at that time, and Council Member Zapp trying to get the money put together for this. And it was almost three years to the day. And I'm just so excited to be sitting here ready to break ground and, and throw a shovel full of dirt. We'll try not to make sure the wind's blowing the wrong direction, just to make sure that this is getting started. But there's a few people I just have to, I have to uh, thank real quick. First, Chris Lyman and his wife, Anora Byrne, they spearheaded this effort from the very beginning. They brought the signatures to them. Deserve a big round of applause. Some of the city staff I was talking about, Jack Straw, don't know if he's here, used to work for me, but was pilfered by the mayor's office. I want to thank him for all the work he did. Uh, Brian Schoenfish, where's Brian? 
did an amazing job. Did an absolutely amazing job not stopping at the first no he found and going through the process and finding the money to get this thing done. Uh, Mark Calloran, Kevin Olive, Sheila Bowes, Mark Nasser, James Nagelfort, for everything you guys did, thank you so very, very much. But most of all, I think the community needs to say thank you because, I, like I said, three years in government time is a blink of an eye, and it's just amazing that we got it done this quickly. And if it wasn't for our employees and our staff and the mayor's office and, and their support, it wouldn't have happened this quickly. So thank you all very, very much for being here today. Thank you. Next up, uh, proud to introduce Doug Beckham, of course, who's chair of our Linda Vista Rec Council. And I've uh, had the uh, opportunity to work with Doug for a number of years back when I was a volunteer on the city's Park and Rec Board. Doug, thank you so much for your continued driving support for this community. It means a great deal. Yeah. Welcome, Linda Vista. <laughs> Kearney Comets. You know, got to recognize the Kearney Comets. I especially got to recognize, and Scott's already said, Scott Sherman and his, and his staff has been instrumental in getting this grant and making it work. The Rec Council for walking it through, following parliamentary procedure, Brian for picking this location. He did better than the rest of us. Yeah, Brian. And Brian also walked us through the general development plan amendment that helped get this thing started. By the time we had a plan, we had over 100 people up in the up in the auditorium. The town council uh, stopped their meeting so they could come up there and participate. We had over 100 people. Everybody was very happy. I think there was one bicycle fellow that wasn't happy because we didn't include bicycles. But uh, safety-wise, I don't think it's a good idea, personally. But we call it a skate park because we're going to have roller skates, skateboards, and inline skates. And we know that it's going to be one of the largest. And my rec council, people like Dottie Perez, has been with me almost 20 years. And I think I've been chair almost 18. But, you know, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> and, anyway, and there was a young man I was talking to earlier, and I said, your idea went a long ways. He was an eighth grader over in Montgomery about three and a half, four years ago. And he got things started. And I said, an idea will go a long way. When people work together and have fun, we're going to have the safest and most prosperous skate park in the county of San Diego and possibly the, the California state. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Thank you. Thank you. Well said. Next up, as Scott uh, mentioned, Nora Byrne from the Friends of Linda Vista Skate Park, who's been uh, a real driver of this. Nora, welcome, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I Thank you. Know you. <laughs> well, I gotta say, for as long as I've been doing this, since March 21st of 2013, Chris and I were reading over notes last night of people that were with us, the skateboarders, the community, the whole bit, and. One of them said, you know, in June, isn't it done already? And um, we were just like, oh, okay, these are the funniest notes we've ever read. We were laughing our heads off last night, but when it comes down to it, I want to say thank you to everyone in this community because it's all of us. And the 1,871 signatures that came through this community from the people blew diversity out of the water because the kids were able to reach their parents and everyone. And this community came together and just gave us hope. And I have to thank, and I have my list here because I don't want to forget anybody, but um, I have to thank, first of all, our mayor, because he rocks. The council office, because he rocks. Scott Sherman. We have Lori Zapp, but the whole office rocks. This is the best way that I could say that this, this community came together is that we have one hell of an office that rocks really good. So I'm very proud of you guys. I want to say thank you very much to American Legion 30, 731, the Ho Tony Hawk Foundation, um, Brian Schulfish, Gary Stang, Doug Beckham, Jeff Davis from the library, Team We, because you rock. 
and um, Tommy Yetto, Route 44, Thrasher Magazine, Doug Saladino, Serena Pizza, Claremont Surf Shop, Claremont Times, but the Police Chief Zimmerman for the Western Division because they're not giving our kids tickets <laughs> for jumping off six steps when they usually jump off. Okay. They're going to have 10 <laughs> steps now. But yeah, they're chilling on our kids. And um, I want to say thank you very much for Radies Children's Hospital who would like to help us with the helmets for the park to donate to the kids for those kids who don't have it. What I am trying to say is that if you ever want to get a skate park, you go by Peter Whitley's book, <laughs> Guide to Skate Parks, because it is the best book and made this happen. So, Peter Whitley, true, you man. rock. True. <laughs> so is there anybody in this audience that don't, uh, don't rock? We all rock. We're all here, aren't we? And that's incredible. So I just want to say thank you very much. And then Chris Lamone, I'm so glad that my honey can type because I wouldn't be able to keep up with a Facebook like he does. Um, yeah, I do this stuff. Awesome, honey. He does the typing. All right. But yeah, and Claremont Times, thank you for doing the articles you've done on us. And when it comes down to everything, this was a team effort. This took a community that basically had nothing and now has hope because we work together as a team. And like I said, diversity, gone. And that's so important because we're all one. So thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Well said. Well done. Great words. Right thank on. you. Thank you. Uh, speaking of Peter Whitney, I want to introduce, uh, before I do though, he'll be our last speaker. I did want to introduce Tom Kay, who of course is president of our Linda Vista Town Council. Tom. Hey, Tom. Thank you. Well, I just wanted to mention that three years ago, 60 kids came to a Linda Vista Town Council meeting. And uh, I think by some pushing as well. Uh, but they all showed up and said, you know what, we would like to have a skateboard park. And I was amazed at how much that idea, that idea flew away from the Town Council and went to Scott's uh, office. And I, bet, I don't think that's uh, three years is too much to expect. Uh, we've been amazed with what, has, what has happened. Now, I've never been on a skateboard, okay? Uh, but I did visit the X Games eight years ago in San Diego Mission Bay Park, well, for the councilman at that time, uh, and I was amazed of the thousands of people that came to the X Games over there. A and I can imagine what it's going to be like when there's this park is over here. Uh, I can imagine how many will want to use uh, Linda Vista for that. Um, you know, We've had several events this year to celebrate Linda Vista's 75th anniversary for its founding in 1941. And we think that this park groundbreaking will provide another community landmark for our history. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Thank you. The last speaker today, everybody thanks for hanging in there on a beautiful chilly day, is uh, Peter Whitney, of course, who's Director of Programming for the Tony Hawk Foundation, who's been uh, instrumental and in, in really kick-starting these parks for us here in San Diego. Yeah. Peter, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for putting it out on a hot day like this. I'm going to try to keep it. The, uh, we're really honored to be involved with this project. Since we were founded uh, about 15 years ago, we've been involved with, uh, we've helped fund 580 skate parks. 500 of those are open today actually now I think more like 506 so we see a new skate park opening up in the nation that we've been involved with about once a week and uh, and every single one of those skate parks and every other skate park in the United States is testament to the community coming together and working on something that originally at, at least at the beginning seems insurmountable and uh, with this park, this is no exception. This is going to be San Diego County's flagship skate park. It's an, an incredible design. It's a great size. It's way overdue for the area, but uh, better late than never. Thanks to everybody who came out and everybody who's been involved, and everybody has a fingerprint in this. So um, we're, we're flattered to be in, involved with it. That's it. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Okay. Thank you, my friend.
All right, so uh, let's make this official and get right to it. Right, so everybody take the shovel, lift it up, look everything. All right. Hey.